hobby is literally an activity done regularly in one's leisure time for enjoyment. That also describes something else that's pretty sus. I am With that in mind, we're going to paint some grim dark pink armor. This one's really simple. We're going to start from a black primer and start stippling on with purple. Stippling, dry brushing is basically going to be the biggest technique that we use through this entire video and all we're going to really be doing is focusing on building volumes. As we jump up into magenta, you can still see a lot of purple around, but you can also see a lot of black still in that recess. And this is what I'm talking about when we're building volumes. We're going to have that really dynamic change from dark to light. If you want to smooth out some of those areas, you can start dry brushing instead of stippling. And that's all we're doing here before we jump up into pink. The real trick with this is as we jump through lighter colours, you want to pick out less and less of the model, so you have more of the colours before showing through. If you look into the deeper recesses, you can still see a lot of black, and then obviously our purple. Our mid-tone was the magenta, and you can still see a lot of that, because all we're doing with the pink is picking out the very highest edges. Time for a little finesse. Now this is actually the same pink that we just stippled on in the last step. But as you use more traditional brush strokes, you'll find that the coverage is a lot stronger. And yes, while we are edge highlighting, we only pick out a few of the areas that we really want to draw attention to. Because this is so quick and simple, this is something that can be replicated on many, many infantry models. You probably don't want to do this for your characters, you can put a little bit more effort into it, but for your main force, this is more than fine. So you can see that we've blacked out the areas that basically aren't supposed to be pink. And with the deep sea blue, we're going to start picking out all the materials, so all the cloth. And even with this, we're not worried about super smooth, creamy transitions. Mixing in a little green-blue, we're just going to pick out the highest parts of the folds and again, we're not worrying about those transitions. We've got another step that's going to kind of take care of all of that for us. The idea behind the cloth is essentially the same as the armour. We've left a lot of the black in the recesses, we've got deeper colours coming through, we're picking out less and less of the model as we get to the more finer highlights. We're really not worrying about how neat it is, we are here to enjoy this one. Painting like this really takes the stress out of mini painting. Now we're going to pull out some secret sauce. This is AK Interactive's War Game Washers. And this stuff is awesome. We're just going to slop it on, like literally slosh it on. We are loaded paintbrushes, which they tell you to never do, and we're putting it everywhere. Then after that dries, we're going to pull out some of their thinner, and it's fruit scented. <laughs> Taking a makeup applicator with a little bit of that fruit scented thinner, we're just going to start rubbing off all the highlights. Yes, we put it on, now we rub it off. This is going to basically leave all of that original wash in the recesses. This is what's going to actually blend everything together for us. You might have seen something like this before with watercolors or oil paints and essentially it's the exact same idea, that's what we're doing and it works fantastically. As always, a massive thank you to InGames for sponsoring the video, their links are in the description. This is what we're left with and honestly, I'm pretty damn happy with it and it was a lot of fun. How often do we get to say that about mini painting? If this video was helpful, please hit that like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. See you next Tuesday. <sighs> Two more takes and I'm having a good day.